The second series is a beautiful complement to the first series. And there comes a time when every practitioner deserves to practice the second series postures. Many of the poses in the second series are made up of um, foundational asanas, just like you find in the first series. To me, when you do primary series, it's not just a set of postures, it's a whole mentality. It's an approach to practice. And when you learn the foundation or the fundamentals of that approach to practice, then you have a intermediate level understanding or um, way of working. One of the basics is learning to work in steps and then finding the suitable step for you uh, with every pose, uh, from the most simple to the most complex. In any posture, whether it's first series or second series, when you encounter a hard pose, um, you learn to trust yourself to find the right step, right? And so you won't um, put yourself in a position where you're over your head and um, doing something that's not appropriate for you and kind of setting yourself up for failure. When you work with suitable steps with each posture, then you can put those doubts that you might have or feeling like a fraud um, aside. When we log in the practice hours, we grow as, um, as students and um, as people and then we're ready to embrace more complex steps. And there will be voices in our heads and possibly even outer, outer people that are um, doubting us or um, questioning or being skeptical or um, trying to hold us back. But um, we can also um, handle those voices because, because we are growing and we keep proving to ourselves that we are um, deserving of the trust. Just remember to, to have fun with your adventure. And the second series is an excellent adventure that's open to virtually all practitioners when you work in steps.